President, Senator, it's uh, good to have you before the committee. I wanted to just note that, uh, Mr. Vice President, your uh, reference of 30 cents a day comes from an EPA study, I believe. Unfortunately, that EPA study also assumes 150 percent growth in nuclear power uh, in order to achieve that 30 cents a day, and uh, that nuclear part is not in this bill. I know there's concern about worker retraining, Mr. Vice President. You said uh, you wanted every coal worker who lost his job to get a job. Unfortunately, the worker transition piece in this bill, all we have is in parentheses, to be supplied, page 568 of the bill. And I've asked every other witness this. Have you each read the bill in its entirety? Can I get a yes or no? Uh, Congressman, I have read all 648 pages of this bill. It took me two transcontinental flights I'm on with United you. Airlines. I, and I get on another one at 12 or 2 o'clock. Senator Warner, have you read the bill? The answer is no, I have not. All right. Let's, then let's go on to a couple to of points a because, <laughs> Mr. Vice President, because you talked about an issue that's dear to my heart, and I've raised it at every hearing I've participated in, and that is the health of our America's forests. I come from a district with 11 national forests in it, with 20 percent unemployment in some of these counties because nothing's happening meaningful in these forests. I'm a big advocate of biomass. Do you support, yes or no, because I, I, I was tight on time, you, biomass from federal forests as a renewable energy source? Uh, I, you know, I think the protection of the federal forests is important. And, Congressman, as a matter of curiosity, are you seeing the tree death in your forest from the beetles and the drying? Let's go. In fact, this is from 1989. Tanner Gulch fire. It wiped out Spring Chinook Salmon Run in Oregon's upper Grand Ron River. This is an overchoked forest, although it looks fairly healthy from this picture. Um, in California, federal forest, here's what happens after you treat it and get it in. Yeah, sorry. Here, here's what happens when you treat it and try and manage it for old growth. Where's the net? No, I don't want that one. This is the Malheur National Forest. It's out in Harney County. They got 20% unemploy unemployment right now. This is what happens when you don't treat it and it burns. When you say treat it, uh, I'm get in and manage it the way the biologists. Believe oh. it should be managed. Hmm. We have a 79-year backlog at the rate we're treating right now to get these forests into balance to deal with the climate change that you outlined. And the Forest Service, as you know, has done terrific research work over the years trying to figure out climate change and what needs to be done as management in these forests. That Malheur National Forest I referenced, they're at least 25 years out based on the limited amount of acreage. We had investors who were ready to go into that county with 20% unemployment and do woody biomass production of renewable energy, and they cannot even get certainty from the forest to supply. Mm. This legislation on page 8 says woody biomass is not renewable if it comes off federal ground, period. Mm. Beyond that, the way it's written, I've had private land foresters tell me even off their private land, it would shut down biomass facilities if you followed this. Mm. Does that uh, make any sense to yeah, you? Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, I understand ex exactly what you're saying. Do you agree with shutting it down? Do you agree with this language? I, I don't have a lot of uh, confidence based on what has happened in the past when uh, something, uh, you know, I think that if you and I could uh, sit down and talk about every little detail of which tree and so forth, you know, in Canada, they have this kind of uh, management approach, and right. yet... They, and yet, their forests are being devastated. And why is that? It's, it's primarily because the warmer temperatures okay, are allowing... Okay, so doesn't the, that if I could finish my, You asked me, asked me a question if I couldn't finish my answer. It's primarily, according to them, because the warmer temperatures due right. to man-made global warming are causing the pine beetles and bark beetles right. to go on the, the rampage. Right. And they have lost many billions of dollars of trees. Right. And when they get, die and get dry and the higher temperatures, they're vulnerable to fire. And we right. had all-time record forest fires. So doesn't that speak to managing those forests to thin them out when you know you're going to have drought, to open up the stands, get them back in balance with nature? And to be able to use... The, the thing I'm fighting here is when you no. take that material out to do exactly yeah. what Canada's doing, to do exactly what needs to happen on the fremont Wyneema National Forest, we have more than 200,000 acres of federal forest land that's exactly that way, bug-infested lodgepole pine. When that material comes out... Why in the devil 
Do we say it's not renewable and can't be turned into pucks like this to help reduce carbon from coal? This could be put in a coal plant in my district if they could get enough of this made. This comes out of Canada, by the way. They're doing that. Why do we preclude it in this bill? Well, I, I think the record of what's happened uh, when it's been opened up in the past has given a lot of people pause and oh. diminished their confidence that, that it could be managed in a way that resembles the right result. Now, as, but you, as you know, Mr. Vice President, every forest has a management plan and every activity on that forest requires full need. Mr. Chairman. I'm just tapping you to just, I, I'm not gaveling you, I'm just tapping let you know because, your past. Because a lot of these answers have gone on for... 12 minutes after the five. I, I, I guess the point here is every activity on a federal forest already is covered by NEPA, isn't it? Uh, every I management activity. I, I don't think those provisions of NEPA have been effective in preventing some of the abuses that occurred during some times in the past. I'll tell you this. I'll close. Why don't you come out and I'll take you to the Malheur National Forest and together we'll walk in these stands or the Wainema Fremont Wainema National Forest, and we'll meet with the professionals, or up in the Wallowa Whitman, where they're heating the school with biomass, or the Harney County. Ho Apparently, I'm out of time. Uh, I, I appreciate your invitation, Congressman. I have been to the forests of Oregon. I, I would love to come back. Uh, I was active in uh, forming the forest plan of 1994 for the, for the Pacific. The Northwest, Northwest Forest Plan, yeah, which yeah. has its own set of issues being implemented. Yeah, but we it's been largely a great success. Uh, I dispute that. Well, gentlemen's, okay. gentlemen's time has.